This snippet is finding and fixing code errors in Microsoft's Expression Web 2. I'm Matthew Hendershot, presenting from Zoom In Online for Microsoft. Expression Web can give you visual clues if you have any coding errors on a page. To turn this feature on, go to the Tools menu and select Application Options. Place a check in the box next to Show status bar. By making some basic adjustments to some Expression Web settings, your web creation experience can go much easier. In Expression Web, go back to the Tools menu and select Page Editor Options. Note that you do not need to have a web page open at this time. You will see the Page Editor Options dialog box. To start, go to the Code Formatting tab. In this tab, make sure you have the following items checked. Tag names are lowercase, attribute names are lowercase, and use shorthand properties when generating styles. Next, click on the Authoring tab. Set the default document type to HTML. Set the schema version to CSS 2.1. When you open your site, you will see that the status bar sits in the lower right portion of the program window. This little bar offers you a wealth of information. If you have set your page editor options, and if you see a small yellow triangle with an exclamation point inside, this is your visual cue that you have some coding error. If you mouse over the warning icon, you will get a pop-up menu that will give you more details on your code error. It is important that you fix any coding errors. The good news is that Expression Web also will tell you what is wrong. Double-click on the warning icon, and the error will be highlighted. Mouse over the highlighted code, and a hint will appear that explains the problem. In this case, the closing forward slash was omitted in one of the ahref tags. Once you fix the issue, the arrow message will go away, and you will know that coding is now error free. Thanks for watching. I'm Matthew Hendershot from Zoom In Online, presenting for Microsoft.